Hey there, I hope you're doing well. My name is Knights and let me show you 5 tips in Storyline to get your productivity boosting. Let's jump in. So here I have two objects, you know, circle and a square, because I want to have a shape like that. Maybe you put an icon in here, here you put a question. And I want to apply a shadow to these two. So I'll go to Format Shape, I'll select the shadow. Boom! And I'm unhappy. The shadow goes over the other object, you know, even if I turn it around to have the this object be in front, I would still have the shadow. So what do you do? First, you don't panic. Let's undo and remove the shadows. And then we're gonna go to format and group these two objects. Now I wanna right click on the object, so on the group, make sure you click on the group and export shape as picture. Save. And now I wanna insert that picture back in. There we go, now this is all one object. We can go back to format shape, apply the shadow. Boom, lovely shadow. Now we just place it over this object and send it. Well, now I wanna send it back. I just wanna put it under, so like that. And then what you could do is still group these guys again together in one group, so you can move it around as much as you want. Okay, number two. Let's say you wanna put an icon in here. So let's go to icons, a question, and we'll pick maybe this one. And what's great about the icons, you can insert them quickly. What's not great about them is this. Oh no, what have you done? So what I always do with inserted icons is right click, go to size and position and lock aspect ratio. You want this little bugger turned on. Now you can resize and size them, you know, like a boss, like a sir. You don't, you don't want to mess with that size and position thing. So like that, you put it here and you're done. Okay, let's go to number three. Here we have an answer that's like a custom answer. We could have A, B, C, D here. Uh, with the two states, normal and select, you know, just a dot in there. What I often do is, you want to be prepared that the answer that the client's going to send is maybe going to be long, you have no idea how long the text is going to be, and if you're preparing the template, you want to be ready for a long text. So what I always do is, because, you know, if I start, start typing here, you know, it goes down and it goes down and it's not aligned with the circle anymore. You know, it's, it doesn't look good. You want to be have it nicely in the middle. So let me just fix this. Okay. Two things. You do two things. Home, align text. You want the middle selected. Now you go to format shape, text, text box and do not out of it should be turned on. Close. Now all you need to adjust is the width to whatever you prefer. Uh, let's go with short one so I can just show you this quickly. So now what happens is these little buggers are always in the middle of the circle. And now this looks much better. So you're prepared to whatever the text answer is gonna be. Okay, number four. If you wanna spice up your slides with maybe some icons or something like that, here's an easy approach that you can take, which is what I often do. You just go and insert an icon. We're gonna use another question here. A question mark, uh, maybe this one. And now, you know, you have no idea what color to pick. It's just like what would feel right. And what I often do is, if you have a dark background, go with format shape and select a white color. And now just dial back the transparency. You know, maybe something like that. However, we have a quite light picture, you know, it's bright. So I want to go with the black color and just try to adjust this so it's subtle but still visible, you know. So maybe something like that, you know, and you could put this in a corner or somewhere, let's say here. So that's a fast and easy approach. You don't have to deal with colors. Either select white or black, adjust the transparency and boom, you're good to go. And so we arrive to number five. If user has to click on something and it's not like an object on screen, but it's like part of the screen or part of an image, something like that. Here's what you can do. Let's say I want them to click on this uh, tree here. I don't want, you know, there's no, this tree is not an object, it's just there in the background. So what you can do, and it's not invasive to the whole thing, 
is you can create a, a rectangle or maybe you could even trace the tree but let's go with rectangle in our case and let's go to format shape we want to remove the line and the fill should be at 100% transparency now we go to edit state we copy this state we say uh, hover and now all we need to do is add the outline so we we'll have the outline be maybe super bright red three pixels so it's visible and done so maybe you have an instruction somewhere just like click on a tree to find out more something like that and you know the image is nice nothing is you know in the way it doesn't clash with anything but when the user hovers over it it's clearly visible what you can click on you know so I really like this approach without, you know, bunch of extra objects and lines around objects and like, like that. So that's number five. Hope you like them. Have a great day.